this kid shoots so much that he gets blisters on his hand. You know, and that's that's dedication. That's a lot of shots. You know, and, and to me, that tells me, you know, within itself, he's gonna have a bright career. Don't get discouraged because, you know, I think we've had that conversation before. That you're gonna get your opportunity, and when you get the opportunity, you take full advantage. And I know it's gonna happen for you because you work hard. Now, Kristen, I was still in Phoenix when Kendall Marshall was drafted number 13th overall by the Suns back in 2012. Yeah. Now, even though he's a Tar Heel, of course. He's still a really good kid, but things just didn't work out for him with the Suns. Now, in his rookie year, he didn't get much playing time. At the start of this season, he was traded to Washington. And only three days after being traded, he was released by the Wizards. But Kendall has no intention of giving up. He's taken his game to the D League, now playing for the Delaware 87ers, the new affiliate of the 76ers. And that's where we caught up with him this week as he continues to chase his NBA dream. And to Marshall for a guy that was an excellent college point guard. A lot of people have wondered if his skills offensively would transfer to the pro ranks. You know, when I first left college, my immediate thought was, you know, I'm, I'm going to the NBA. Like, I've made it. But it's funny, when I got here, now I feel like it's a constant battle. Like, somebody's always on my tail trying to get me out of here. What's up, man? Why you get some deal? It's like that sometimes, man. Yeah, this is nothing new for me. Uh, I've kind of been doubted throughout my entire career, you know, even from high school to college to the NBA. People were constantly telling me things that I couldn't do. I'm just trying to go out there, have fun playing the game of basketball, and take it day by day. Sevens on three. One, two, three. Sevens. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, fellas. I felt like the D League was the right move for me to get back to the NBA. The D League is really growing. And, uh, the talent is a lot better than maybe it was four or five years ago. So you're only one stop from the NBA. You can get a call up, you can get signed, and uh, I think they pay a lot more attention to what's going on. Oh! Kendall Marshall is a great example of why the NBA Development League exists. Clearly, he's an NBA caliber talent, and it just didn't work out in his first year. And really, our role is to help him develop, improve his game, provide a platform exposure to get him back up to the NBA. And while he's here, he's going to help young guys learn the game and improve their game. Have you seen a back of your defender say cut? Okay. Stay there, Rodney, stay there. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. You get a first step on him. Make him, because he's going to bump you, take that foul. I have no doubt that Kendall Marshall won't be here long, and he'll be another success story in the NBA. What do you want first play? I've received some good advice from a lot of people. You know, one thing is just continue to believe in myself and know that I am an NBA player, and just staying positive and uh, knowing what I can do and not doubting myself. And just to prove that people are watching Kendall in the D League, he was called to Memphis the day after we visited him for a tryout with the Grizzlies. And you have to figure that won't be the first time that NBA teams.